And on tonight's episode of The Global Lane, retired Special Forces Lieutenant Colonel Sargis Sangari weighs in on the Syrian conflict. Alliance is what we're seeing right now on open source, but they had struck this deal even before President Trump decided to pull the forces out. One of the problems that we had was we saw that they had already started reaching out to uh, Syria and brokering these deals, and also at the same time uh, uh, linking themselves to Iran. Uh, March of this past year, a video surfaced where the uh, Kurdish forces that we were supporting within uh, Syria uh, had actually brought Iranian intel officers uh, and had walked them through basically all of the basings which we had provided with U.S. taxpayer money to build for them. Uh, at the same time, um, they were pointing out all the disposition of all our core structures to the Iranians uh, on the battlefield and how we were arrayed in Syria. Uh, this is one of the reasons uh, the president, I think, has made the right decision to say, if he cannot trust you as a partner and an enduring partner, then why are we here? The only good that we were providing for the Kurds in Syria was uh, by us being there and by our soldiers dying on the battlefield, it was given an opportunity for them to try to establish their own regional government, which at the same time was suppressing all the other minorities that were in the region who are not socialists in ideology or mentality. And what about Assyrian Christians? I know they don't trust Erdogan, but they say they aren't much better off with the Kurds. No, they haven't been. Uh, the Assyrian Christians have suffered under the Kurds. Uh, the Haber River Valley Basin was cleared out when the Kurds decided to enter and chose out of the battlefield to fight against ISIS. And the Kurds, in support of the Turkish Ottomans, were the ones that killed and captured and took into slavery majority of those Assyrian women uh, during the first genocide. In 1933, the Kurds also aligned with the Iraqi Arab armies in order to be able to uh, push out and kill the Assyrian Christians who were in the uh, villages and the areas surrounding Semele. Unfortunately, when you have individuals who are just jockeying for political positioning and money and dollars, this will continue to happen within the region. And what now? What's the best course of action to end the Syrian war once and for all and keep Iran out? Well, Iran is there. Iran's been there for 40 years. Unfortunately, our Kurdish allies, to include Barzani and, uh, North, and the Kurdish North, in one meeting sold out all the Israeli um, um, uh, initial intercept positions that were built as far as uh, early warning for missile strikes from Iran against Israel to the Iranians. Uh, you cannot rely on these individuals. Iran uses that corridor, uh, which is the Kurdish regional government area, to move supplies, equipment, weapons uh, into um, areas within Syria and moves those into Lebanon and also into Syria where it puts pressure on Israel for its security uh, requirements. Uh, what we need to do is we need to finally make a long-term decision on how to address the minority issues in Iraq and Syria. And the only way you could do it, at least in Iraq, under the uh, current Iraqi constitutional structure, is to empower and give support for a Assyrian Christian uh, um, uh, uh, homeland, safe home, if you want to call it, or under the Iraqi constitution, it would even be a province, uh, regional government, in order to be able to pick up all the minorities that exist from various different groups uh, and allow them to be able to have a somewhat of a self-rule uh, capability. Once that happens, these minorities are much better capable of working with countries like Turkey, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and to become a stabilizing factor within those countries. As long as we continue to go down this path, of just literally uh, trying to put out fires, making one group happy over the other, uh, which are internal fights within the Kurdish uh, factions and tribal groups uh, against Turkey, you'll never be able to get a, to a final end goal. Our job is to make sure that we preserve the roots of Christianity and allow those individuals to finally have an opportunity to have a say in their own future. Okay, Sargas and Gari, thanks for those insights.